Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is October 1st and I'm sitting outside the back patio of my new residence in Edmond, Oklahoma. Um, haven't made a video in a long time. It's been way too long, honestly, and I'm hoping to get back into it. There's a lot of reasons as to why, and probably in future videos I'll talk a little bit more about why that's happened, why that's been. I've been really busy uh, with Rooks and Queens, um, really busy with a lot of other things as well, moving obviously, and I think probably at some point in the near future I'll make a video maybe talking a lot more about these things. But today, I wanna to talk about economics in one lesson. Um, a book by Henry Hazlitt that has taken me entirely too long to finish reading. Um, that's not because it's a bad book or because it's super long, it's actually a really short read. It's just that I've, like I said, I've been busy um, and, and even reading has taken kind of second priority, unfortunately, but I finally finished and I wanted to go ahead and make a review over the book. Um, as I do, I'll start with the cons and then move into the pros. Um, I think the biggest con with uh, Henry Hazlitt's Economics in One Lesson for me is that some of his arguments, I think, weren't flushed out enough. Um, yeah, he, and then also sort of towards the end of the book, it seems like he, he like rushes to kind of make his points and becomes a little less uh, thorough in his analysis and argumentation versus in the beginning of the book, I think he starts off extraordinarily strong. Um, so this book was probably like my first foray into Austrian economics and it's impossible to get into Bitcoin without eventually sort of uh, learning more and hearing more about Austrian economics. Sorry for the train in the background, uh, but this book came at the recommendation of Saifedean Amos. Amos, I think I'm saying his last name right. Uh, he was the one who put this book on my radar. And so I, I picked it up and for someone who has very little economics background, I took microeconomics in college, um, kind of thought it was a lot of buffoonery, um, just like the questions that they would give us for homework and stuff like that were, one, extraordinarily partial in like sort of the resolutions and the way the questions were asked, but also just like, it just seemed nonsensical, a lot of it, honestly, and it's kind of why I found myself in philosophy. And uh, this book kind of, oh, so I'll go ahead and give it a rating. I give it a four out of five stars. Um, he really starts from kind of like first principles and his, I mean, his whole argument is that in looking at economics, it's important that you don't just take in the immediate consequence. Um, you also look at second and third order consequences. So he talks about everything from uh, minimum wage laws to inflation, um, you know, credit expansion. Uh, you know, he talks a lot about the broken window fallacy. Um, and, and really, I think that sort of what I gained from this book was really number one, a, like almost like a business, um, yeah, I guess like macro perspective or understanding of economics. It really is like for someone who, but okay, well, I'm kind of saying a lot of things right now. Uh, what I would say is for anyone who doesn't actually have an econ background, I think this is a really good starting point because the, the way he makes his arguments and the way he talks about economics is, is very, it's based off a lot of common sense. And he starts from the individual, but then he's also able to apply those same principles of, you know, saving, uh, frugality, sort of getting your own personal finances in order and shows how, um, if you can apply those same principles on sort of a, a, a macro perspective, uh, a lot of the, uh, I guess, mainstream economic thoughts and positions that we've arrived at are, uh, are rooted in various fallacies. And I think this has been a great starting point for my economics education. I'm excited to move on to some more Austrian economist books. I just wanted to make this video real quick, get back into it, uh, apologize to you guys, but let you know I'm, I'm not done, I'm not gone, um, I'm still around and I'm excited to continue making more videos and hopefully reading more books and talking to you guys about them. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've read any Hazlitt. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the comments. Peace.